Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another Bitcoin daily video today we are speaking about how to buy Bitcoin without actually having to buy Bitcoin itself right so that's what you probably clicked on this video for you want to know how to how to how to expose your portfolio to Bitcoin without buying Bitcoin itself so that's what we're gonna talk about today before we jump into it please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button let's jump right in right so there is a good chance that you probably heard about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies from you know family and friends and you probably you might even know somebody that have you know might have made some you know pretty good profits uh, you know just owning crypto or maybe even trading crypto in their portfolio so you know it's, it probably sparks your curiosity and now you're thinking about jumping in um, but maybe you don't want to take that risk of buying a full Bitcoin and exposing you know going through all the hoops you have to jump through when trying to you know get into the cryptocurrency space as you know to buy Bitcoin you have to you know use some sort of wallet and and you know you have to be on an exchange and all this even though there are simpler ways nowadays to get into the Bitcoin investment but if you just don't want to um, you know jump through those hoops and have to have a wallet and all that you don't want you don't care to learn for it you don't care to you know do any of that um, there there are ways to invest in Bitcoin and uh, that's what we're gonna cover here today so the first thing is stocks with cryptocurrency or blockchain investments okay let's cover this real quick a company that uh, that was around that's been around and then all of a sudden changes its name and becomes a blockchain or a cryptocurrency company after the 2017 surge in popularity of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies that's not the type of company I'm talking about here right so I'm not talking about those companies like riot or anything like that so do not invest in those companies those companies are very sketchy to say the least um, but a smart way to play cryptocurrencies is with stocks that could make lots of money if cryptocurrencies remain popular but will be just fine if they don't the first example one of my favorite stocks to invest in in the stock market that has exposure to crypto and to bitcoin is square right so the ticker for square is sq um and that's it's probably it's one of my favorite uh stocks to invest in that has exposure to um to bitcoin on Square's Cash App, you can buy and sell Bitcoin, making Bitcoin purchases as easy as swiping a few times on your mobile phone. So it's very, very easy. Um, now, Square recently made a huge bet on uh, Bitcoin. Uh, CEO Jack Dorsey came out and announced a $50 million investment representing about 1% of the firm's total assets. So that was huge. That uh, that is very very big, and that's also part of the reason why Bitcoin's been going up in value as of recent. Um, another company who recently made a big investment in Bitcoin was MicroStrategy. Um, MicroStrategy invested about four hundred million dollars, and it was reported that they've already made from that four hundred million. They've already made around a hundred million dollars return on that investment that they made right and uh and that's more than what they made in the past three years combined um in sales so they just made this investment in september they've already made it got a return of around 100 million or more so that's pretty crazy right so um with bitcoin so the the reason these companies are good is because with bitcoin's growing value there could be a big revenue stream available for these company which will also increase their value and the value of their stocks right however if bitcoin were to drop for any reason because these companies are already you know uh established and they're rapidly growing um you know these companies will still continue to thrive so regardless of how bitcoin does um, they're, they're still going to their established companies they are gonna still they still have other avenues of revenue so those are two companies that that I recommend when investing in companies you know that are invested in Bitcoin so those are two that I recommend to check out if you'd like um, now let's jump into ETS right 
So, um, so then, so. All right, so let's jump into ETFs. So the first ETF that we're going to talk about is the Bitcoin Investment Trust, which is the ticker is GBTC. So this is probably the closest thing to a Bitcoin ETF, right? Um, that's in the market as of right now. So the idea is that the trust takes investors money and pulls it together to invest in Bitcoin, right? But here's the issue. The shares trade at a massive premium compared to the amount of value of Bitcoin that the trust actually has. So that makes zero sense to me. So my recommendation and in my opinion is to you're better off buying Bitcoin itself than investing in a company and, and then investing in this particular ETF. There's an ETF that I've looked up and done research on. In my opinion, go out and learn how to actually buy Bitcoin and figure that out You're, because you will be better off than investing in this company as a path to uh, get yourself exposure to Bitcoin. So the next one we're going to talk about here is blockchain ETFs. So blockchain ETFs is similar to the idea of buying stocks of companies with cryptocurrency related investments. But instead of just choosing one company, you're investing in dozens of them. So recently there have been a few blockchain ETFs or, you know, exchange traded funds uh, that have come to the market. Uh, while they're relatively new, these companies uh invest in you know basically what their etf is uh is made up of is of companies such as overstock.com intel cisco nvidia square just to name a few basically um so these can this can definitely be a way to invest in cryptocurrency while simultaneously buying well-established businesses so that is another way of investing in bitcoin and getting exposure to bitcoin through blockchain etfs now um what you need to do though because this is i i didn't look this one up um what you need to do before putting your money into something like this i've never done this um you have to check what their fee structure is so you want to make sure that the fee structure to invest in these ETFs make sense um, unlike the GBTC which charges anywhere between 20% to 100% premiums you know for to have their ETFs so um, so make sure to do your own research on that one all right so the last but certainly not least is future contracts so this is pretty this, this one's actually pretty close to buying actual cryptocurrencies but with obviously some notable differences. Uh, Bitcoin futures are listed on the CME group and on CBOE global markets, and they're available through several other major online brokerages to retail investors. So basically a future contracts, the way it works, it allows you to bet on the future price of a commodity or an asset by putting up, up some money now, known as the margin requirement. Right. So for Bitcoin future, the margin requirements vary depending on the exchange and your broker, but they're generally around 40 percent range. Right. So for a simplified example, um, let's say that Bitcoin was trading around ten thousand dollars and you wanted to bet that the price was going to go up between now and January. Right. So you could buy future contracts by putting up four thousand dollars based on the 40% margin requirements. And then you will own the profits if Bitcoin rises. And obviously if Bitcoin doesn't rise, then you lose money. Um, now, if you want to bet against Bitcoin, you could also do that the same way. You have to put up the same amount of money, you have to put up 40%. And then if the price falls, then you profit. Um, now, to be clear, I do not recommend futures trading to novice investors or to generally anyone who doesn't really understand and know how future contracts work so you know let that be clear futures market is very tricky 
um, I don't recommend it to anyone that doesn't understand it and doesn't understand trading period. All right, so you definitely need a lot of expertise and experience in the futures uh, trading market in, in order to trade uh, future contracts. All right, so the bottom line is, there's definitely several ways to invest in Bitcoin and get exposure to your portfolio, you know, to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies without actually buying them. Now, some are a good idea, some should probably be avoided, right? Uh, I believe that the best way to get exposure in Bitcoin without actually buying Bitcoin is with well-established growing companies that have other business functions as well. But in the end, the best way to actually be exposed to all the lovely, lovely profits that Bitcoin rains and gives <laughs> drops upon us is to actually buy Bitcoin. 